25. This is Tudor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 424. Proverb today is, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone says what is good for the goose is good for the gander, it means if something is good, acceptable, or beneficial, it should be equally so for another person or other people as well. It basically speaks in opposition to double standards or hypocrisy. Okay, let's continue. The proverb is a modern-day version of an older proverb. What's sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. Okay. Uh, the older version of this proverb dates back to at least 1670 uh, and was listed in John Ray's A Complete Collection of English Proverbs. And he listed it as a woman's proverb. So, first of all, uh, it had to be around at least a little before that because it was one of the one of the proverbs he collected. And, of course, he listed it as a woman's proverb because probably, you know, especially at that time, there's a, a lot more double standards against women. So they might use that saying, like, you know, that's not fair. Uh, if, if, a, if a man can do this and the woman can't do the same thing, you know, that's not fair. So that's kind of the idea behind it. Let's continue. Uh, in the phrase, of course, a goose is female. So the goose represents, um, you know, the female. And the gander is a male goose. Okay, let's continue. And we've got three examples to show just how it's used. Uh, if a man can date a woman 20 years younger or more, why is it strange for a woman to date a man 20 years younger than her? What's good for the goose is good for the gander, or at least the person saying that feels it should be that way. Number two, if the U.S. ever brings back the draft for soldiers, they say next time women will be drafted as well. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. This is a, kind of almost the reverse one, actually. But, you know, women have been in the military for a long time now, and they do say that if that ever happened, hopefully that won't happen. But if it did ever happen, that women will be drafted just like men were drafted. All right, number three. If a man can have a bachelor's party before he gets married, then it is only fair that a woman should have a bachelorette party as well. What is good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. What was clear? I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.